it is 6:30 without much further ado we can start the session uh, very happy new year to everybody we are having our first session in 2022 uh, uh, in this uh, sunday and uh, this time we have moved it to the fourth sunday from this month it would be on the fourth sunday the program would be on the fourth sunday for uh, a brief introduction on ashtanga i would ask uh, our executive director mr t r shashivarya to kindly uh, speak a few words thank you dr girish it's always a pleasure introducing my company to all of you as various ashtanga ayurvedic private limited as it is known today was started as ashtanga ayurveda shala in the year 1936 by k s warrior he was an ayurvedian from the kotakal school he had completed his course in 1933 and decided to start this institution called k s warrior ashtanga ayurvedic private limited we have already put in 85 years of service so we have been in trichy uh, right from 1936 and we started a manufacturing unit here at that time and we have our own products in line we manufacture about 300 products and more we have products in the classical range as well as the proprietary range and the foods range we also have brought out some ayurvedic foods we have some uh, over the counter products like uh, beauty products like shampoo and uh, uh, we continue to do good work in this field we have about four clinics in town in trichy we have uh, doctors everywhere we practice also uh, ayurvedic therapies in two of our clinics walk in therapies we do not have an inpatient center however we have decided that we need one in the future so we will be working towards that and uh, the 85 years have given us a lot of uh, legacy and uh, a lot of experience and we have been doing various uh, good works in trichy uh, on diseases various products we have come out with many proprietary products which are of our own experience and uh, products that uh, can help us in various uh, ailments right from skin diseases to digestive diseases and we have products uh, a full range of products in the classical uh, format also and uh, as for the foods yes we are just into it and we are bringing in more foods in the years to come so that's about our practice we have four um, we, we we have our uh, uh management ma- managing director here who is an ex banker he has jo- he joined us in 2011 and our of course our uh, senior most practitioner who has put in 50 years of service in ayurveda and he he completed his course in kotakal in the year 1971 and joined us then and he's been with us and we have millions of patients who have got cure from us and uh, our medicines are being used across south india Uh, of course we are yet to uh, join the north indian wagon we are shortly going into that also uh, lots of sto- lots of stories uh, little little anecdotes of uh, ks warrior practicing but i do not have the time so let me go on to give back the mic to dr girish and he will share the rest go to thanks Girish. thank you sir thank you thank you very much so uh, today's spe- i would like to introduce today's speaker now Uh, Dr. Kamlesh Shivram Mahajan is uh, not only an Ayurvedic doctor, who is also uh, he is also a specialist in yoga. Uh, uh, even uh, after his post graduation in Swastavrata, he also did a diploma in yoga. Uh, he is the ex associate professor and vice principal at Sri uh, Saptashringi Ayurveda College, Nashik. Working as an assistant professor in the department of Swastavrata at ASS Government Aided Ayurveda College, Nashik. uh he was uh, awarded late vaidya tm gogate uh, manchinha uh, panchakarma memento at dhule in 2006 for excellency in work by uh, respected vaidya pt joshi sir uh, recently awarded national ayurveda best teacher award in swastavrata at pune august 2021 uh, research paper selected at iit mumbai for uh, presentation at yogastha 2021 invited as a judge for avishkar research competition by maharashtra university of health sciences nasik uh, maharashtra invited as guest speaker in uh, atar day foundation at usa published national and international publications in peer review journals published local health articles in various magazines and newspapers 
recently formulated school health charts for government of maharashtra ayush health mission completed muhs uh, mylan program at tribal area of palgad jawhar on the health issues uh, ayush coordinator uh, for training of medical officers at civil hospital nashik invited as a resource person at uh, mary engineering institute arts commerce college nashik invited as a judge for poster competition at aii ms rishikesh presently working as secretary for ayurveda vyaspeet nashik branch successfully organized national and international conferences as an organizing secretary and a committee member chairperson at wac uh, world ayurveda congress mumbai 2019 invited as expert and judge panel of dr ganga sahay memorial national ug sa competition 2020 varanasi invited as a resource person in various institutes of all over uh, india uh, uttar pradesh gujarat madhya pradesh maharashtra rajasthan and usa in internationally uh, appointed as a center observer and lic member of muhs official and so on actually uh, the doctor here is having a lot of laurels uh, uh, added mm -hmm. to his cap so uh, i would take a, a whole session Thank you. of webinar itself to talk about his uh, achievements so <laughs> with that i would like to also just uh, Uh, um, before going on to the uh, webinar today, I would like to ask everybody uh, that if you have any doubts, you can kindly put it in the chat box, uh, and at the end of the session, it would be uh, answered by the doctor. Uh, also, we would uh, like to see that uh, more and more people, if you have more doubts, uh, this would be a more uh, uh, interactive session. So kindly, you can please put forward the questions. I can, you can also put it to me personally as well. uh i can read it out read the questions out to doctor and doctor can answer it at the end of the session so in between um, i mean um, it is better if we do not have any interruption that is why i asked you to kindly put it in the chat box uh, and uh, so that uh, so doctor uh, i will hand over the stage to you sir okay thank you sir very good evening to all of you heartily thanks to respected girish sir dear girish sir for brief intro and heartily thanks to respected governing member governing body of ks varya rashtang ayurvedics for this prestigious platform uh, before prior to permission i would like to share my screen yes sir please sir screen is visible sir yes sir okay thank you so without wasting time our topic is given my nutrition through ayurveda so we are quite familiar with the nutrition uh, all the entity and uh, physical health mental health social health spiritual health what is ayurveda ayurveda is a art of living science and now in the pandemic period it's a really Uh, people got so fantastic evidence based treatment uh, and also the rehabilitation uh, health promotions so we would like to focus on the principles of ayurveda ayurveda is a divine science it's not a it created by brahma brahma smurta ayusha veda so is totally based on guru shishya parampara विश्व प्रकाशक ब्रह्म ब्रह्म प्रकाशक गुरु गुरु देवात परो नास्ति तस्मा श्री गुरुवे नम सो इन दिस ट्रेडिशनल मेथड इंडियन रिच हेरिटेज कल्चर आयुर्वेद इज अ बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग साइंस एंड इट डील्स विद द टोटल हेल्थ प्रमोशन प्रिंसिपल प्रिवेंट टू एक्सपेक्ट एट एज वेल एज क्यूरो टू एक्सपेक्ट सो फॉर कॉमन पीपल इन द सोसायटी implementation of ayurvedic principle in our daily uh, regime seasonal regime and uh, all over the lifestyle consider uh, we have to adopt some uh, modification in our daily lifestyle so that we can enhance our health benefits according to the world health organization uh, who definition of health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely absence of disease or infirmity so a fourth dimension is spiritual well being so nowadays 
it is already mentioned in sushrut sahita the charak sushrut vagbata ashtang hruday so it is a commentaries it is a literature of ayurvedic literature samadosha samagni cha samadhatu malakriya so first component samadosha samagni samadhatu is deals with physical aspect and after that prasanna atma indriya man swastha iti abhidiyate so prasanna atma indriya man so what is prasanna means happiness hita hitam sukham dukham ayutasya hita hitam manachet tatra ayurveda sochate so what were good what were bad what is going in the life biological clock 24 hours what is the resume what is the positive thoughts what is the negative thoughts what is the positive views negative views so is naturally constructive thought process destructive thought process hamper the mind so as well as just like uh, physical health important we uh, nourishes through proper food uh, proper uh, types of uh, lifestyle same mind nutrition is important nowadays psychosomatic disturbance is very common nowadays and this is a uh, one of the very good shloka in bhagavad gita conversation between lord bhagwan krishna and arjuna chanchali mana krishna pramarthi balvadudam it is the okay tasya nigraha anya vayo yo sudushkaram asanshay mahabhav mano dur nigraha chalam abhyasane tu kontaya vairagyanancha gruhate and same simultaneously in avagbhata kalartha karmana yoga hi nimithyati matraka samma yoga che vidnya roga roga ek karanam so what is the causative factors of the disease and etiological factor that are responsible for the body health body ill health nidan parivarjanam what were mentioned in basic principles of ayurveda we have to avoid that aggravating factor that are responsible for the diseases in present pandemic period what is nidan parivarjan we are following covid protocol social distancing hand washing um mask so what we had mentioned it is totally evidence based science is totally evidence based no doubt at all and so it's a need to elaborate the principles in practical way in the society common people awareness program national awareness program of ayurveda is a need do i am very thankful to respected honorable all the traditional vidyas they are doing their job all over india out of india uh, various reputed institutions companies that are also doing very uh, good job same simultaneously honorable ministry of ayush government governing body they are now uh, doing uh, various more uh, propagation awareness program on the facebook media so it's a good practice and it's definitely help for constructive ayurveda uh, through uh, nation health swastha bharat is our aim, aim health for all also according to the world health organization so what is the effect of environment at physical level mental level what is our routine hari vari karis everybody have this bonding everyone is uh, facing the challenges due to the various types of responsibilities various types of jobs uh, challenges family challenges uh, environmental challenges and also the health challenges issue financial fitness factor is also very important and that's why that's directly affect uh and at physical level and mental level so how it affects at physical level in the form of lifestyle induced diseases that is non communicable diseases uh faulty lifestyle what were mentioned uh, in the today's uh, scenario non communicable diseases hypertension diabetes obesity it is a silent killer diseases acid peptide disorders due to the addiction due to the various types of uh drug addictions uh, allergic conditions uh, biological clock disturbance uh, occupational hazards may, may time many times uh, night shifting duties and also the clock of the doshas totally disturbed so endocrine disorder hormonal disorder due to the obesity fatty abdomen meda uh, what were mentioned in ayurveda that is a dushti of meda dhatu and at mental level depression anxiety neurosis restlessness insomnia sleeplessness insecure feeling so last point is very important insecure feeling loneliness everyone have assets everyone have all the means uh, 
we are nowadays feeling lonely quarantine isolation this is the worst so quarantine for 14 days isolation for 14 days treatment plan after that it is not control then see the phobia and uh, many times due to the uh, lot of responsibility we have no time due to the virtual mode also uh, addiction of uh, mobile laptop whatever tv that is useful that is a this is a important platform virtual mode is important platform nowadays but over addiction is definitely causing no interactions between the family so loneliness in the family insecure feeling that is a point and in present scenarios that affects the mind situations covid scenario see the lockdown uh, so collapse all the financial also situations uh, people start migrating from one place to another there is travel destin uh, instructions what were restrictions and uh, hospitalization uh, what were the means of uh, financially burden so there is a lot of issues maybe uh, sometimes close relatives death that news that's not we can tolerate and uh, badly affect to the school going health health children so we need sweat analysis what is the strange weakness opportunities and threat in every science each and every science is great no doubt at all but we should focus on the what is the strange what is the weakness where is the opportunities to apply this implement of the ayurvedic uh, globalization or ayurvedic principle ayurveda uh, methodology ayurvedic science literatures practical implementation and definitely what is the threats so every action and reaction that will definitely act in the society and that will give fruitful result no doubt at all this is a one of the very good shloka yukta har viharasya yukta chashta karma so yukta sopna bodhasya yoga bhoti adukha so bhagavad gita dinacharya rutucharya ahar nidra so diet sleep and daily regimen seasonal regimen is the basic principle we are following common people following from morning to your routine going how you deal with your routine at that time what is going in your mind means mind psychology is very important because rasavaina dushyanti chintanat ati chintanat this is one of the very uh, good shloka that is mentioned in charak vimanastan charak is a ayurvedic literature and uh, charakastha chikitsate it deals with the treatment ayurvedic treatment and that's a uh, rasavaina dushyanti rasavaini means is such srotasa what is the body channels you can say microcirculatory channels and definitely uh, over stress level that affects the mind body nutrition because pitta dhara kala eva majja dhara kala that is also mentioned in uh, our literature ayurvedic literature so what is the soothing effect that uh, nourishes the mind just see the take the example feet massage that is mentioned by vagbata padabhanga so is definition oleation therapy nasal oleation uh, feet uh, oleation whole body oleation that definitely give soothing effect to the mind that give complete Uh, relaxation to the mind body decrease the fatigueness what were and also enhance the energy levels of the body means this is no need of research it is already research based science is already research based only need is a global platform exposure in very uh, proper manner and implementation so nowadays due to all the systems they are working on it worldwide globalization of ayurveda ayurvedic uh, various centers that are running uh, in uh, foreign countries also and doing good job so this is a kitchen spices everybody everyone is quite familiar with this kitchen spices grandma kitchen this is the traditional method and that is very effective nowadays in this specifically uh pandemic period respiratory hygiene digestive hygiene what were it may be but that will be maintained through this grandma kitchen so healthy lifestyle meaning of healthy lifestyle we are facing lot of challenges issues but positive thoughts positive lifestyle and negative lifestyle according to what were mentioned vikaro dhatu vaishamya samyam prakruti uchyate sukha sadnyakam arogya vikaro dukham evacha so sukha anukul vedaniya sukham 
This is mentioned in Tarka Sangra. Anukul Vedaniya Sukham. What is the definition of suk? What is the happiness? And what is the sadness? Pratikul Vedaniya Dukham. So sadness is nothing but the we will not uh, what will happen according to us that is happiness and if according opposite to that it is a sadness. So yogic and ayurvedic ancient science happiness index that definitely give a positive lifestyle and bhogwadi cultural sense that decrease the happiness index district to thought mechanism that gives negative lifestyle. And this is the 365 days of our year, individual level, graduation, responsibility, job, marriage, family responsibility, settlement, financial stability. At social level, wine, dine, culture, enjoyment, asset liabilities, competitions. So directly, indirectly, it affects our psychosomatic unit. So very important nowadays because physical health is a secondary, but mental health is now primary illness, mental illness. So psychosomatic consideration is very important. Mind nutrition is very important. So how to adopt mind nutrition through Ayurveda? How to adopt Ayurvedic lifestyle through Ayurveda? How to nourish uh, physical at well, as well as mental level, spiritual level, social level, because this is the dimensions of the health, which I mentioned in the World Health Organization health definition also. So this is the Ministry of Ayush Gai, uh, PPT, Ayush Sambhat PPT. A very nice uh, awareness PPT is uh, given by Ministry of Ayush. I am very thankful. What is Ayurveda? Ayurveda is derived from Ayu, meaning long life, and Veda meaning knowledge. Ayurveda knowledge system of healthy and happy life. So illness, wellness, and happiness. Hita hitam sukham dukham. Ayutasya hita hitam. Longevity of life through Ayurvedic principles. Strength of Ayurveda. So it is definitely time tested, cost effective, prevention, treatment, restoration, quality, safety, and efficacy assured. Immunomodulators now much needed in these conditions. And that is also working. Uh, uh, specific proprietary preparations by various com companies, honorable, uh, respected Vedas. Uh, great traditional uh, already going on by respected honorable Vedas uh, who have result-oriented practices and uh, their formulations that definitely work on the body system, mind system. So rejuvenation, palliation, holistic integrated approach, various choices of treatment, yogic practice, no doubt everyone is familiar with yoga, but what's the concept of yoga in this period? Yoga is not only asanas, first thing is important, is behind the asanas. So Hatha Yoga, principal application of Hatha Yoga, Raj Yoga, Panch Karma, biopurification, detoxification, according to the seasonal purification, rejuvenation is very important. And that definitely work to stay uh, mentally, physically healthy. For example, just take an example of a Shirodhara. That is also Shiro Abhyanga, Shiro Pichu, Shirodhara, Padabhyanga. These types of techniques that definitely uh, somewhat, but uh, break the uh, whole thought process and that is very, very helpful for digestion also. Time tested cost effective, no doubt. And this is the root of physical lifestyle we have to follow. We have to implement propagation through proper Dhinacharya principle, Rutucharya principle. Now what is Dhinacharya? So conducting our activities, daily activities through proper Ayurvedic um, methodology. Rutucharya, conducting uh, what were the seasonal activities through proper Ayurvedic methodology. Ayurvedic diet, adharnya dharnya vega, so natural herbs, that is also important. And that affects the physical, mental uh, disturbances, doshik disequilibrium. So what is adharnya, what is dharnya, means passing of uh, stool urine, that is important. But due to the now various loads, what were conditions, Many times it's not possible or we are ignoring many times what happened. Call, we can't attend. So that is also disturbance in our body system. This is a golden tool I have already mentioned. And that not only acts on the physical level, but mental level. So uh, what were the thinking process, positive thought process, achara and code and conduct. Uh, next PPT that will be, I will show. But this is a also good result-oriented 
just like uh, water needed for plant uh, sun needed for plant growth just same way for my nutrition this is a basic this principle following the daily abhyanga udvartan gargling pulling of oil gandush kaval for oral hygiene because we are seeing the addicted people tobacco chewing what we are means so gandush kaval is very important uh, long lasting uh, tobacco chewing that affects the sub mucous fibrosis oral mucosa leukoplakia conditions and definitely add, we, we have to can, we can avoid through proper gandush techniques kaval gandush kaval gandush kaval techniques medicated proper processor herbs uh, with oil ghee or water umbilical oleation nabhi puran karna puran ear oleation because sound pollution is very common nowadays when we stop at tra signal also traffic signal we are uh, hearing lot of directly indirectly uh, sounds so naturally sound frequency sound wavelength that also affect our eardrum and our body is made up of panchabhautik so akash is predominant in ear so why uh, karnapuran is important to properly do shaman of vata dosha abhyanga and udvartana that is already we have mentioned a golden tool in ayurveda ayurvedic diet so what is diet diet we have a very vast concept it is actually according to the modern science according to the nutrition according to the dietitian and according to the ayurveda is totally different but food is a medicine that is the tetriya upanishad annat purusha already mentioned and nidan parivarjan to avoid the aggravating factor so we should know first determine the our prakruti many times we we you know our prakruti uh, what is after taking the uh, spices uh, acidity increased or not or uh, how the dates are acting on the our uh, energy level or how the uh, almonds that acting on our mental level so we are quite familiar this is the basic uh, uh, proper uh, awareness regarding the specific uh, uh, spices uh, products ruttu haritaki rasayan so haritaki is the one of the medicinal plant that is mentioned in ayurveda science and uh, haritakya di varga in the literature bhav prakash uh, the properties of uh, haritaki is given according to the season uh, haritaki consume with proper carrier or vehicle that is anupana so it's a need to take proper rejuvenation monthly quarterly what were mentioned detoxification uh, what were so it is a part of life now we can't say we have to uh, require only when we are uh, facing the uh, health issues but it's a part of life now we have to follow this principle we have to adopt the practices through proper under the supervision or guidance of ayurvedic practitioners uh, we are ayurvedic research workers and ayurvedic vihar that is uh, our lifestyle activities achar rasayan so what is achar rasayan achar is not here pickle but rasayan rejuvenation definitely means cold and conduct sadar utta at mental spiritual level it will definitely help pradnya prat we can avoid pradnya prat means everyone have desire there are lot of form of desire but we can control over what were the feelings what to do what not to do what is uh, best and what is not good according to the journey of your life so that we can uh, definitely positively implement through acharya sign dincharya and rutucharya seasonal dietetic code and conduct method of diet sleep in ayurveda method of diet also mentioned but we are not following due to the hari hari curries today's practice is not very difficult to follow this all kind uh, of principles sleep uh, it's a very um, good but how it acts on the body mind and also the soul drinking water regimen yogic practice slow sleep mechanism it is mode of activities or we are over addicted to the uh, virtual mode that is also one of the uh, reason and 
yogic practice is is a part of our life just like food water cloth is a essential of life now yoga is and yogya and ayurveda lifestyle is a essential of life so we can focus on the scope and practice of swastha ruttam swastha means health ruttam means information so what were mentioned uh, related with health in ayurvedic literature so where is the scope so we are everyone is uh, doing hoteling hoteling is very common from each and every society so we have to implement the ayurvedic mastership we have to train mastership we have to follow the mandapaya vilapi yava guyush what were mentioned in the medicated herbs medicated processed dietetic recipes in charkokta mahakashay what were given mahakashay varga junia bruhaniya uh, geriatric uh, health care geriatric diet care through ayurveda pediatric health care pediatric diet care anc antenatal care pnc so we can implement mandapaya vilapi yava guyush establishment of dincharya clinic rutucharya clinic totally prevent to rehabilitation health clinic why to heal better way avoid prevention is better than cure so swastha yoga centers establishment that is already running in various countries now and in very well manner positive effect is we are seen so this is a different types of diet also which are very common in ayurveda and yoga satvik rajasik and tamasik so rajan tama this is a manas dosha and that inhibits or with uh, this equilibrium the body mind conditions so we have to focus on sattva and how to increase the sattva how to increase the satvik ahar through satvik ahar it is already mentioned in ayurvedic science so we have to follow that also now just take the example of cow milk cow ghee that is a satvik ahar fruits green vegetables definitely non spices that is a satvik ahar but really we are following that is also question mark so positive health being prophylactic this is a nutrition mission portion abhiyan for physical health human body gut psychosomatic unit just like sunlight require oxygen require carbon dioxide uh, minerals water same in present scenario we require portion of mind through various spiritual principle ayurvedic acharya sain principle sadurutta principle because to mechanism process channelize and positive news positive views or positivity definitely constructive body mechanism channelize so it is very important thought process to control the thought process and it can definitely possible through proper channelize of ayurvedic diet ayurvedic principles ayurvedic lifestyle so total environment should be now uh, or worldwide globalization of ayurveda in our daily practice through the propagation of ayurvedic principle in practice this is a anupan that is a carrier drug vehicle hitam yukta tarpati ashu manav sukha pachit ahara ayusha cha balaya cha so what were this is a shlokas and this is a evidence everyone want evidence where is mentioned so it is mentioned and it is already prove anaditva shashvatatva what were mentioned rajatam cha manasa dosha uda huto आचार साइन सदृत पालन योगिक यम नियम प्रैक्टिस यम नियम प्रैक्टिस एवरीवन इज फॉलोइंग एट सोशल लेवल इट डेफिनेटली वर्क सो वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कैटेगराइज फिजिकल लेवल एट एट फिजिकल लेवल सोशल लेवल मेंटल लेवल आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग सस्तरुत्ता प्रिंसिपल्स एंड वी हैव टू फॉलो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सो व्हाट इज अष्टांग योग यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम धारणा ध्यान समाधि इट इज अ टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द योगिक प्रैक्टिस योगिक लिटरेचर and yam niyam principle is somewhat with uh, merge with acharya sain and sadrutta vayakti sadrutta and samajik sadrutta what were type mentioned in swastha rutta so vayakti sadrutta is nothing but the individual ethics code and conduct and samajik means social uh, ethics so that is quite similar uh, similar to each other and nowadays we are seeing the geriatric mental health is very important because uh, loneliness in secure feeling many times so uh, what were the uh, challenges situations they are facing uh, so 
as well as uh, just a uh, youth at uh, same time geriatric mental health related with healthy surrounding environment at home working place healthy finance factor and habits common illness loneliness insecure feeling depression restlessness sleeplessness so in according to the ayurveda at this uh, stage vata dosha uh, vitiated so what were the mentioned in the daily regimen the dinacharya uh, various types of uh, olation therapy karna puran uh, nabhi puran pada abhyanga shirodhara so it's also good because uh, constipation and sleeplessness is very too common entity in this uh, age factor so we have to dissolve constipation through ayurvedic diet also yeah, ayurvedic uh, medicated herbs also and uh, uh, second one is what you have mentioned uh, uh, is a uh, constipation and same times loneliness in sugar pills so soothing effect to the mind body through proper mantra chikitsa that is also mentioned uh, oh, various types of mantras mentioned interactions means what were we, with proper uh, interactions with the these people through um, various uh, swasthya or health promotion principle we can follow or we can advise or we can do awareness that programs in our hospital we are following uh, immunity ayurvedic lifestyle we are giving uh, various types of decoration to the each and every individual staff working staff teaching staff non teaching staff patients so that they can maintain or they can just uh, realize how it work, work. so this is a various method um, derivatives we can uh, process and we can apply on the individual and uh, definitely at individual and social level corona community transmission is we are facing epidemic pandemic conditions we are familiar with this word but ayurvedic and yogic community transmission is a need of our or need of time practice is definitely uh, work out no doubt at all but why we are uh, facing uh, the lacuna why we are not still get awareness in many countries now they are following the principles of ayurveda and yoga and they are propagating in very well manner but in our countries uh, now it's a very good platform and we have to work out uh, work on uh, on it and ayurvedic and yogic community transmission through various media platform uh, various channels media channels uh, and already awareness campaign uh, in uh, ayurvedic colleges uh, so national health awareness campaign is a need and it's a part of curriculum also we have to follow that so everyone is a expert here everyone is working in at the uh, capacity level so it's a need to implement a national health awareness campaign uh, through students to faculty to through to the common uh, door to door uh, survey of the common people practice methods so my nutrition through dharaniya vega so what is dharaniya vega so kama krodh desire head after that short temper muscle lobe krodh so this is a means a spoiling entity that hamper the my nutrition so just like see the picture how it canalize the uh, water to each and every part of the land uh, field land so definitely same time our mind thought process whether it is good or whether it is positive and whether it is negative that affects our mind conditions so mind is a very vast concept actually qualitative assessment of mind is very uh, means already mentioned uh, there are literatures available on mind but it is very difficult but we can control our thought process that is in our hand and through proper guidelines of uh, what were mentioned in principles we can follow that gas balloon of non ethical lifestyle and colorful life uh, induce ego superiority complex drug addiction sedentary lifestyle assets properties so we had to first focus which type of balloon we have to adopt in our lifestyle and simple balloon or ethical lifestyle balloon that means construct to tang yoga ayurvedic diet panchkarma method seasonal code and conduct ayurvedic sadhru time only focusing on this is daily uh, dinacharya and rutucharya so the word is very simple or common we are not giving weightage to actually this but this is a need 
nothing to do lifestyle modification yes this is a very important base is important lifestyle modification and what is lifestyle what is ayurvedic lifestyle we have to given you have to give emphasis on that only and how really it work means before and after before taking the lifestyle implementation procedure and after taking after some days after 30 days after 45 days how it works on your mind how it work on your body so random control study is a very important and one should give permission to carry or one can carry in our family from start from our family so so that we get confident really how maishi dubdas nidra karanam srishtam what is buffalo milk uh, is a uh, in agra sangra mentioned that wagbata it is a uh, good for sleep so really it's good for how it effect on the sleep so same way ashwasan karanam srishtam jala water so in very uh, phobic conditions we are giving glass of water why because satwa ajay satwa ajay chikitsa so mind healing minds uh, what were so not only giving plain glass of water we can process with herbs that is a uh, it increase the uh, temper pitta shaman medicated herbs like uh, ushir wala uh, chandan sand so we can implement various types of uh, like a herb, herb processed water through the individual society and that will definitely work nowadays uh, swarna prashan we are advising immunomodulator so adult immunomodulator adult mind immunomodulation is a need of our so how the ayurvedic medicated herbs act on the mind that should be processed with proper a uh, combination and one should try on society at spiritual level meditation yog nidra shat chakra jagruti sattva jay chikitsa so what is yog nidra so med- guided meditation and it definitely work is definitely give relaxation to the mind body is uh, increase the energy level also so we have to focus on this principle of uh, yoga literature so prevent to initiate tools in testing time is panchagaiva chikitsa means medicated dhupan dhum uh, nowadays we are seeing the structure of building builder uh, constructions we are seeing the swimming pool we are uh, seeing various uh, lightning gardening but need is fumigation plant there dhupan plant is there so herbal fumigation dupan plant each, each and every society each and every building construction is a need proper channelize proper expert advice proper biotechnology uh, and ayurveda both mou we one can uh, create the module so that the, that will uh, definitely uh, apply or implement each and every construction sector and maintain the environmental health of that specific reason or specific countries desha surya namaskara so it is a quality to assessment of surya namaskara daily surya namaskara according to their body conditions because what to do is not important what not to do is very important though i am giving emphasis on follow the principle follow the principle but if the body is not tolerate to that specific conditions then don't do that so according to the your body conditions according to their mind condition according to inner voice inner voice is important so what to do if uh, possible your fitness is good do daily surya namaskar but first take expert advice same time agnyotra chikitsa so it is also a traditional method uh, applying in very as uh, vaidya uh, traditional so it is also types of spiritual healing and uh, that's need this is a references shrirana kradosha nam kamena param aushadam vasti vireke vamana etat ella gruta madu dhi dharya atma adi vidyan madu aushada param what is the medicine of mind dhi dharya atma adi vidyanam so dhi druti smruti vibharam shakarmayat akruti ashubham pradnya apradam ta vidnyam sarva dosha prakopanam this is a one of the shlokas mentioned in our ayurvedic literature so we have to follow the detoxification method vasti enima virechan woman according to the seasonal uh, classification so that we can maintain the doshic equilibrium at physical level also and through proper satvik diet we can maintain the manas dosh uh, equilibrium 
so this is a uh, characteristic of minds specific uh, what were disequilibrium causing factors krodo shoka bhaya harsha vishada vishado roga vardhanam srishtam vagbata mentioned already means worries sorrowness painfulness frustrations that aggravate our mind disease conditions also physical health conditions so be happy be relax whatever the solutions is every problem shall solution just act on the proper lifestyle through ayurvedic uh, and uh, various types of yogic principles minister of ayush uh, propagated ayush kwat enhance your immunity with ayush kwat just like that uh nowadays warm water chorna prashan herbal ayush kala shadang udak shadang udak is the medicated herbs that is effect in fever musta parpata ushira chandan cha vachan agre so that is also what were the medicinal herbs mentioned a single in individual clove water lemon water ginger water that is ginger water lemon water and clove water respiratory hygiene to increase our immune modulity uh, it acts as a antioxidant also so according to the modern principle what were mentioned uh, and what is according to the ayurveda we had to union both and we have to uh, implement in uh, our social or individual practice longevity a way of life my health my responsibility so 8 into 3 24 hours diet nutrition focus exercise massage yoga meditation work life balance happy state of mind adequate rest sleep seasonal panchakarma rejuvenating herbs so this is a hampering we have to do hampering not just uh, for one days two days three days 365 days we have to plan according to the 365 days so it will work and it give positive effect how to give weightage to uh, which principles which practices is totally depend on individual decision and individual decision is totally depend on his thought process and his or her thought process is totally depend on his ethical practice or non ethical practice so this is a etiopathogenesis nidan panchak samprapti vivechan what were mentioned in ayurveda so we have to avoid the aggravating factor that are responsible for the disease that is a nidan parivarjan sanshipta kriya hoge nidan parivarjanam honorable pm narendra modi international day of yoga yoga guarantees wellness as well as fitness yoga is not merely an exercise but a way to attain peace through physical mental and spiritual well being so just like yoga nowadays international ayurveda day celebration is a need foreign countries they are doing practices they are implemented already in the form of ayurvedic mall turmeric latte is nothing but the turmeric milk we are seeing in the usa mall also nowadays national ayurveda and yoga unique program in our india state wise country country wise state wise district wise rural areas so remote areas tribal areas so it's a need and definitely it is nothing but the ayurveda upadesha shu vidhaya parmadara being as a indian and this science belong to our country origin is in india we have to very proud very proud regarding these ayurvedic principles ayurveda and yogic lifestyle is a new of time now onwards future worldwide globalization are now getting to our ancient indian science it is our individual responsibility to follow ayurvedic and yogic lifestyle in our day to practice and ayurvedic hotels ayurvedic malls is a new of time master chef whatever and i am very thankful to the ayurvedic literatures and google images that is a guru guru brahma guru vishnu guru dev meshwara guru sakshat parabrahm tasmay sri guru ve namah i heartily thanks to respected organizing committee of uh, ashtanga ayurvedics ks vairi ashtanga ayurvedics all the governing members respected governing members dear girish sir and indirectly dr mahesh raju sir for uh, connecting with us so thankful to once again one and all for silently listening me i am now sharing stop thank you sir thank you dr kamlesh so uh... that was a very wonderful session we had uh, i think a lot of people would have taken a, a, quite a lot of take home points from your uh, session sir so healthy living and uh, healthy uh, mind as well as healthy body the uh, uh, idea given by you is great that everybody can follow that uh, i think we have quite a few uh, 
questions in the comment section, sir. So can we go forward with the question section? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I have a few comments as well. So nice demo by Mahajan, sir. So there is one uh, uh, point here. Nice presentation and key points. So uh, yes, somebody also has added that. Uh, so I will go on to the question, sir. So we know sleep is an important part of maintenance of health. Sleeping at night is said to be the best. How can a person having night shift manage good sleep? <laughs> it's very common nowadays and uh, it's uh, unavoidable because uh, it's a part of uh, essential part. So uh, following the what we are, Ratra Jagranath Vata Prakopa, it is a sutra mentioned by Shushruta. So when uh, in the morning he uh, or she come at that time, uh, follow the daily regimen principle means uh, soothing effect that enhance the body mechanism, abhyanga, olation, whole body, uh, abhyanga, olation therapy, according to the prakruti, vata dosha, pitta dosha, kapa dosha, expert advice uh, is important. And uh, according to that, follow the proper diet plan also, because uh, generally, Acid peptide disorder, aggregating factor that is uh, causes due to the night shifting, uh, computer vision syndrome, uh, dryness of the eyes, photophobia, headache, and uh, also the due to the standing mechanism or uh, what we are doing in, in that particular environment working. So it definitely enhances the vata and pitta imbalance. So fo focus on the first uh, awareness to the vata, what is vata, pitta, kappa to the common layman. So orientation program regarding Vata Prakruti, Pitta Prakruti, Kappa Prakruti, Prakruti assessment, uh, door to door step uh, propagation uh, through media, through Cinemax, uh, through city center mall or whatever. Means we are each and every doing shopping, each and every following hotel traditional in practices. So at that uh, specific particular space, uh, at the travel destination also, railway station, bus stand. So pro proper awareness regarding that, uh, how to, according to the, your Prakruti, uh, first decide what to our lifestyle. So if you, anyone is practicing uh, at night, working at night, so daily, daily uh, disturbance in biological clock definitely happen. So it's a part of their routine. After that, Oksatmya, that is a entity which you mentioned, Oksatmya. That's so we can adopt the practices, no doubt at all, because it is also part of our bread and butter. But at that time, we have to quite familiar with the Vatic disequilibrium will happen after some time because uh, just in mentioned in our Marathi, thembe thembe this is a one of the uh, entity mentioned in Marathi language. So that aggravate. So Sanche Prako Prasar. So Sanche Prako Prashama. We had to avoid the samprapi, etopathogenesis at that time. And we have to, we, we can uh, definitely proper following up uh, diet through cow milk, or buffalo milk, or whatever I have mentioned uh, before, some uh, panchagava spiritual healing practices, meditation, yoga nidra, after coming from the offices, take uh, before going to the bath, take a uh, bhanga, after that, nana means type of sedan also, and uh, nasal drops, oilation of uh, coconut oil, just nothing any oil. Coconut oil is simple. We can apply on the hair, apply on the nostrils, both nostrils, inner side. That is definitely workout. And after that, fumigation, camper, uh, that also increase our uh, energy levels at physical, mental level and affect the soothing effect to the body and mind. And that induces the uh, sleep. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the answer. Uh, the next question is Dr. Mahajan. You will appreciate that it will be difficult for one person in a household to practice Ayurvedic diet and principles rigorously. What are some easy and basic changes in diet and lifestyle that can be done? Uh, Ayurvedic and diet principle, yes. What are some easy and basic changes in diet and lifestyle that can be done? So focus on the kitchen Ayurvedic kitchen means kitchen remedies, uh, what were the uh, given. Just start from a uh, simple rice water therapy. That is also beneficial, means uh, rice uh, water or uh, what were the practices of kitchen uh, spices, uh, proper processor with herbs or uh, techniques, uh, uh, wholesome diet uh, and avoid the unwholesome diet. So viruddhahar means what were the contrast diet we have to avoid that. For example, various types of now derivatives of yogurt. Maybe it is a 
uh, means uh, tolerate to the some person but not tolerate to the some person so we have to focus on the practice which is the uh, house uh, very common ginger water in the respiratory hygiene now this clove water the ginger uh, and uh, clove just like uh, turmeric uh, use of these uh, specific spices in our daily uh, diet and also the semi liquid diet semi liquid form of ayurvedic processed drinks that is also good uh, so we have we can uh, means uh, according to the uh, prakriti definitely assessment qualitative assessment we can uh, implement on the so individual or we can suggest the individual thank you sir i would like to add something here if we start looking back at uh, our earlier food practices i think those were quite wholesome than today's uh, food practices like for example a simple khichdi itself just like uh, it it has so many things in it that it covers all the dietary needs of the body and and it is good for the body as well so in tamil nadu you can have a look at pongal in karnataka also i think uh, pongal is there pongal uh, by itself is a wholesome food a complete food so uh, uh, going back to the practices which were uh, uh, cooking practices which were done by our elders uh, if we look at it i think that would be really good in our daily life rather than going to the fast food culture once in a while for taste i don't think it would be a problem but on a regular basis going back to those days or those culture uh, food culture i think that would make us healthy right sir kamal yes sir definitely so uh, the next question is sir can you give some recommendations for a mother to include in everyday diet for the family so that the family is not short tempered mm-hmm. is a very difficult question it depend on the vyaktijit ka prakruti means according to the individual uh, uh, choices and uh, tongue desire so how to uh, change the mood of the tongue and how to follow the so common uh, generally sadhya prinan what is the energy instant energy uh, food or uh, like to the tongue that uh, remedies we can uh, advise uh, or uh, one can apply in the society home remedies in the form of home remedies uh, ginger not ginger jaggery means a uh, half process with jaggery half process with uh, various types of lentil soups and that uh, give instant energy or sadhya prinan what were the uh, dhatu karya means increase the our appetite appetite level also and uh, also good for the tongue means what were the good for the tongue is not good for the body also sometime that but what were the uh, not good <laughs> what uh, we are strict uh, try to uh, at least uh, do a campaign or awareness means what is good what is bad and how it will work on your health so uh, definitely our home minister or uh, what were the women she is preparing won't uh, first give orientation to what is the effect and what is the bad effect so everyone is following according to the our seniors so that is a means a uh, anukaran anukaran that is a code and conduct to our, our seniors whatever they are eating whatever they are drinking so everyone is trying to get that benefits also thank you sir uh, i think uh, the commonness of foods uh, among everybody in the house so it is not that only one person would need an ayurvedic diet i think everybody who are healthy can go for such diets uh, ayurvedic diet is not something special it is something which is normal and complete so that is a healthy diet which is sadrasa yukta ahara so it has all the six tastes uh, included and nothing in excess like excessively fried excessively spicy so everything within control is uh, i think uh, one of the uh, uh, main things we can follow uh, for everybody so this answer would also be uh, for the previous question as well so uh, thank you sir so the next question is we do herbal fumigation of the okay there is a point we do herbal fumigation of the whole factory every day that is given by our executive director uh, great <laughs> and uh, we also do it in our clinic sir we do herbal fumigations after every treatment sir uh, so that uh, it is uh, you know the hygiene is maintained yes sir then please explain how uh, fumigation can be done at home okay just uh, take a example of cow dung cow dung uh, and uh, on the base of cow dung we can uh, implement uh, camphor uh, also the clove gugula various types of uh, gugul herbs process uh, uh, with uh, volatile oil content and that will definitely work means cow dung uh, in a specific uh, 
uh, area or a space uh, on gallery also and uh, we can apply the uh, fire and ghee apply the ghee and after that uh, by enlightening with fire uh, that definitely work throughout the surrounding mechanism of home and the environment that uh, we can do fumigation thank you sir so uh... Okay, there is a comment. Nice. Then, uh, ah, yes. So everybody, there is the feedback link which is given in the uh, chat box. Uh, kindly fill in the feedback uh, for today's session. Uh, those who fill the feedback would get a certificate for participating the uh, in the webinar. Uh, there is a point. My health is my responsibility. I assure you that my geriatric mental health will carry this as mantra. So, uh, Dr. Kamlesh, I think you already have uh, made a mark in somebody's uh, life. <laughs> then uh, there Thank is uh, another comment uh, from our uh, honorable md dr mahajan good presentation and a lot of insights to all participating here thank you so much and uh, thank you sir next question is what is the importance of rasayana in strengthening the host defense so so first uh, i would like to tell rejuvenation therapy or rasayana rasayana is a very vast concept so basic to graduate uh, school at school level implementation of this chapter is very important because we have a rich heritage of some of the rejuvenation plants reju rejuvenation herb rejuvenation products dravya so dravya gunata karma kurute dravya gunina karma kurute so each and every product dravya for example just take a example of garlic so rason shirpak so rason shirpak if the uh, teacher is know what is the garlic what is the property of garlic so school education system in india now days we have to add curriculum of health ayurvedic diet syllabus so that rasayan means what is the rasayan how it acts on the body how it heal the body mind rason shirpak it is good for our heart it is rason rason garlic have various properties so if the just like that turmeric so haldi rasayan haldi rasayan or turmeric rasayan uh, through proper medicated uh, uh, herbs with uh, ghee or uh, milk we can body suvarna prashan is also a rasayan nowadays immunomodulator so we have to first define the what is rasayan and for that we have to take a big platform of media that will propagate it Uh, proper governing system, proper education system to channelize the each and every at from ground level to the top level, and uh, awareness regarding the, the various uh, rasayan dravyas, their actions. Amla is familiar, but everyone is not taking or eating the amla. Just we know the chon prash, seasonal winter season, but really how it work? Or cow ghee with a uh, proper proportion with honey. Uh, or uh, what is the quantity with um, ghee and uh, honey or only honey how it maintain the respiratory hygiene so it is also one of the rasayan ushappan means warm water is also rasayan so we have to first focus the basic definition means uh, very uh, what were mentioned in our uh, charkokta rasayan or medhya rasayan brain tonic so walnut walnut processed with milk that is also rasayan dry fruits also uh, acting on the bone joints uh, brain so how it work how it channelize our body system agni system digest to fire garlic uh, uh, so fenugreek so is totally pro have some particular qualities properties but we have to focus and uh, definitely uh, it will uh, good thank you sir so for the earlier question about the fumigation there is something which i'd like to add there is a common product now in most of the companies they are making it it is called uh, aparajit dhupa churna or dhuma churna it is also made at ashtanga ayurvedic private limited so you can use aparajit dhupa churna for a fumigation of the home as a general fumigation methodology because there is a study which states uh, uh, which was done in uh, alwai uh, kerala Uh, where most of the houses were fumigated uh, as against uh, 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 oncoming mucormycosis cases after the uh, covid uh, affliction and they have seen that the study was conducted in such a way that it was a comparative study and they have seen that uh, there is much improvement in the uh, 
uh, situation uh, in the homes were uh, which were fumigated the level of the fungi uh, uh, in with were within normal limits uh, uh, in the environment of their homes so aparajita dupa churna is a wonderful option for uh, daily home fumigation uh, next question oh there is a point sir dr kamlesh it was indeed comprehensive and insightful presentation okay thank you then uh, sir what is the reference for agnihotra so actually it is a uh, our uh, means uh, proprietary practices uh, in maharashtra my guru uh, vidya gautam sir uh, i have followed that practices agnihotra so uh, references is not uh, actually it is a traditional and it is a proprietary so one can have, uh, take a uh, means uh, knowledge through proper channels So what were uh, means how to apply how to conduct and how when to conduct what is the timing given means sunrise sunset and what is the uh, dravyas or what is the actually involvement of the which uh, types of uh, dravyas uh, in which quantity just take uh, agnihotra patra is there copper vessel uh, cow dung after that uh, means uh, ahuti so we are saying cow ghee and uh, we have to follow at particular time uh, which mantras so chanting of mantras just like a combination of uh, breathing techniques uh, chanting techniques in surya namaskara how that will definitely give positive uh, effect or enhance the physical mental energy level agnihotra chikitsa is a uh, give a spiritual healing effect on the body mind and surrounding our uh, environment so it's a definitely good practice but you have to follow for 365 days not only uh, one day two days or eight eight days means uh, discontinuation is not good but continuation with this practice is definitely give positive effect positive healing positive thinking positive thought process so we have to, i'm giving focus only on the thought process because we can every action reaction nowadays what were i individually experienced our thought process is very important means uh, uh, sattva what were mentioned in ayurveda pravar sattva madhyam sattva or hina sattva so sattva bala how patient tolerate so we know the prognosis of the patient but will power and definitely thought process with that uh, specific mode journey it will definitely cure the or maintain the health of the factor uh, immunomodulator proper thought process is the immunomodulator nowadays not only the drugs not only the diet but proper thought process is the immunity factor nowadays so pro following the proper thought process and positive thought process is very important thank you sir so how to stabilize and improve mental strength in autistic children oh, okay mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm just uh, reading that question. Whether whether it is given how to stabilize uh, and improve mental strength in autistic children. Okay, so I am not familiar with uh, at at means uh, these types of particular entity. So a better way I would like to advise take a expert guidance from which uh, the particular expert who who are working in their uh, area. So I am not quite familiar with this entity. thank you sir so i think for uh, 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 since uh, ayurveda has also sp specializations for the information of everybody present here just like you have an ophthalmologist me uh, a person who is also uh, dr kamlesh is actually on the preventive side uh, preventive medicine and then we have uh, uh, even uh, uh, pediatrics so that is kaumara prithya so in uh, how to stabilize and improve mental strength in autistic children would be a great question for uh, uh, a pediatrician Uh, who can yes. answer it better uh, than any of us? But otherwise, yes, yes. there are certain practices which are done in certain clinics for uh, autistic uh, children, which have been done for years and years together by very senior doctors. So that can also be practiced. So other than that, uh, okay, there is a point. Abrajita Dupatiurna is a good product for communication. Then, uh, okay, there is another question, sir. So having sleeplessness when uh, I'm having um, sleep random nightmares in both. Uh, day and night taking allopathy treatment last 4 to 5 months still continuing and sometimes low energy issue aggravated now having low bp don't know what to do i know it's an age factor i'm studying now can't focus concentrate on my studies well in both day and night 
uh, i do yoga meditation oil pulling good diet most of the days depends on the energy level and took uh, oil bath too do you have any solution for this so basically i think the question is based on uh, energy level is low as well as uh, sleep is uh, an issue and when uh, sleeplessness when the person uh, look for uh, medication for sleeplessness it is not working out and uh, there is a low bp issue and very random nightmares uh, in both the uh, day and uh, night time sir so what do you think uh, can be uh, an advice for such a person yes sir definitely uh, this is the issue common issue bas uh, yog nidra and shirodhara practice or uh, uh, if not try try to uh, guided meditation means yog nidra relaxation technique and also the shirodhara shiro abhyanga shiro pichu padabhyanga padabhyanga also mentioned that uh, so we can uh, just try or uh, um, maintain the proper uh, regimen means uh, according to the your body capacity according to your prakruti and taken with a proper ayurvedic expert guidelines at your local area treatment plan just to try this shiro dara shiro abhyanga shiro pichu and padabhyanga and yog nidra yogic expert from yogic expert how to do yog nidra because there are various uh, uh, types of modes of yog nidra also but according to the uh, definite uh, defined condition defined uh, environment conditions uh, one can practice yog nidra so uh, that will work thank you sir because ah, yes. yes sir yes sir no no drug drug addictions and uh, thought uh, one second that is the point means uh, uh, frustration and uh, another uh, thought negative thought process that also affect the mind and uh, if we will not get the proper exposure to the mind thought process at a particular or a certain level so this problem generally aggravate so expose your thought to the somewhat uh, believable personalities or uh, sharing your uh, actions reactions or interactions with to each other uh, that is important also uh, apart from the medication and apart from these all things so happiness index is important indirectly i want to say happiness index is important and that individual only know means so many times what happen we can't express our thoughts or we can't express our feelings and that's so uh, troublesome to the body a uh, fire means dhatu dhatu agni so dhatu hi dhatu ahara so it burn all the where it burning issues may be or what where it may be so all the these things thank you thank you sir so uh, i think here i would like to add uh, in ayurveda uh, even dream interpretation is part of the prakriti and vikriti uh, nischaya of a person so that helps in identifying diseases as well so uh, i think a, a proper complete uh, 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 personal one to one talk with a physician ayurvedic physician uh, understanding the prakriti and the vikriti of the person along with the remedies like what uh, dr kamalesh said shirodhara shirobhinga padabhinga like for example our uh, Uh, um ashtanga hridaya has mentioned one of our texts has mentioned abhyanga macharet nityam sajara shrama vataha drishti prasada pushti ayu swapna suptatva dadyakrit it also helps in sleep as well as the eyes so on a daily basis abhyanga oiling so i know the person has mentioned about uh, oil bath but uh, on a regular basis is what is mentioned and specifically uh, ashtanga sangraha has mentioned pada abhyange tu tat stairyam nidra drishti prasada krit so the, yes it is the best for sleep as well as eyes and uh, in ashtanga hridaya there is a mention that at least if you can't do full body oiling at least do shirash shravana padeshu tam visheshana shilayat the head great. the ears or the foot if this can be done on a regular basis this is a great practice otherwise talking one on one with one of the uh, any ayurvedic physician to help you out is also great uh, so this can be done uh, um, uh, uh, dr kamlesh will also be available ashtanga's clinics are also available so please uh, take the help of uh, uh, any of us doctors any remedies to increase strength and reduce anxiety sir so that is the next question reduce anxiety okay so uh means uh, first uh, is important in which uh, conditions you are going or facing the condition anxiety what is the reason of anxiety first is the cause why anxiety come and how you uh, giving weightage to the anxiety means that particular hetu because in ayurveda hetu is mentioned nidan so everyone is starting from hetu aggravating factor what were the what are what was the aggravating factor or what are the aggravating factor that are responsible for the anxiety first rule out and it is possible or it is controllable or it is is it our in our hand 
and if we will get the solution at that level no doubt at all but applying the each and every level uh, drug or uh, means uh, practices drug addiction is not good so i would like to advise the uh, somewhat the practices like uh, change in env uh, environment or change in particular situation according to the practice according to the seasonal um, or according to the daily practice means uh, for soothing effect enhance the body mind effect and also reduce the uh, anxiety reduce the depression or stress discomfort or restlessness whatever it may be so frustration restlessness uh, it is very common entity but what is the cause first rule out the cause and is it possible uh, to vishadho rog varjana now whatever is mentioned in our science vishad means what it is nothing but the shock or uh, and responsible factor is various it is depends on the individual social environmental occupational level so occupational uh, induce environmental induce family challenges or at individual level due to the our pradhna aprad what were so first addiction drug addiction that also cause the anxiety so really the history of drug addiction now withdrawal is uh, looking in the person so first rule out the cause so hetu is which, which are which are mentioned in ayurvedic literature is very important so corona virus is also uh, one of the nowadays just we are say hetu but totally hamper the whole collapse the total whole world collapse so what were happened how it happened what is the reason first rule out the cause just like a uh, viruddha har means a uh, unwholesome diet conditions or combination of uh, not suitable diet uh, induce the skin diseases i mean that is a proper cause so we have to avoid if we they definitely will decrease so we have to first follow that yes sir thank you sir so the next question is how to reduce the forgetfulness and break in thought process as we grow older mm -hmm. so chanting process uh, dhyan meditation and uh, means uh, it is a we are a common entity and we is familiar with all the media platform everyone is guiding do yoga do meditation but uh, really practice guru practice methods and uh, just uh, i have already said food water and uh, cloths as a basic need of our life add to the part of life these things daily continuation of these practices meditation a uh, spiritual healing chanting process mantra therapy mantra chikitsa according to the your faith and uh, practice of uh, satvik ahar fruits green vegetables so that uh, many times what happen constipation also induce uh, irritability restlessness or uh, what were uh, means of heaviness in mind body and uh, abdomen so proper uh, re release practice of or proper appetizing practice of agni uh, release practice of constipation proper uh, seasonal and dietetic uh, environmental exposure is a good and that will definitely increase or ghi grutam pitta nila hara rasa shukra ojsa hitam niruva pana mrudu kara swar varna prasadanam it is mentioned that means important of ghi in old age process because vata dosha is uh, already mitigated so we can control to proper practice method of cow milk and medicated uh, milk also cow ghee and uh, cow milk that uh, at the time of night and in the morning uh, nasal oleation or uh, just uh, apply the two drops of uh, coconut oil or any types of medicated processed oil in uh, inner nostril that is also give positive effect thank you sir i think uh, we are coming to the end of the question answer session uh, do do anybody have any more questions to ask you can also uh, unmute yourself and ask the question uh, anybody would have any questions just to remind everybody there is the feedback link which is already given above in the chat box kindly uh, put in your feedback on today's seminar webinar yes the feedback link is uh, shared again any more questions anybody so okay uh, with that we come to the end of uh, this session uh, before that i would like to ask our md mr tvs warrior to put a few words on today's session 
Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening, Doctor uh, Mahajan and uh, Good all evening, the sir. other participants. It was really nice to listen to you. Uh, but one challenge for all of us uh, sitting here, you know, especially most of us are, uh, I'm sure we all have some sort of a background of Ayurveda. But uh, the uh, what our uh, what we need to do is how to how do we attract how do we entice the people at large you know especially the younger generation how to uh, follow the Ayurvedic uh, uh, especially the routines uh, most of us have been growing up in the Ayurvedic especially for the all the family members in the Ashtanga we all are aware of it and we at, even though we may not be hundred uh, percent uh, Paka, as far as uh, the uh, uh, Dhinacharya is concerned, just to some extent, at least uh, 50 to 60 or 70 percent, we keep following it. Uh, so, but how do we attract the uh, the population at large uh, with this kind of, uh, you know, uh, a concept of Ayurveda? That is something a very big challenge for all of us because there are a lot of distractions in the world outside, uh, you know, um, uh, films and movies and you know all you youtube and the fast growing world which doesn't conform to any of these ayurvedic uh, principles and so it's very easily people youngsters and even the elders they get distracted with the, all the day to day happenings and i really uh, it's a big challenge for us uh, how to uh, make people uh, you know follow our, uh, the concepts i mean uh, thank you so much for uh, your uh, uh, presentation and all the explanation. This is a big challenge. What do you feel about that? Yes, sir. Very nice question. And it's a question to me also. <laughs> How to... <laughs> But uh, just, uh, I have said, uh, school education, because that is our foundation, that is a base of each yeah, and every... Yeah. So, uh, Ayurvedic uh, syllabus or what were the just like in one chapter of school health edu education system, curriculum is very important. And according to that action plan, proper module design. And uh, just like in film, uh, Bollywood or Hollywood industries also, the Ayurvedic, how Ayurveda is work. So each and every cinema hall or whatever, there is a public focus. Awareness campaign and awareness uh, means of these clips of video. Uh, bombarding is important because we people can't understand. So hampering bombarding continuously. So it is important. And uh, in our education system, we have to modify our education system. That is my individual, very honestly opinion. Because at least youth colleges where is faculty different interdisciplinary faculty cross faculty medico non medico uh, corporate sector industry sector means uh, application of uh, each and every principle means according to the industrial uh, uh, health fitness factor how ayurveda tool is available so business meeting, MOU with uh, coordination with NGOs, somewhat NGOs, NSS is a big, big platform. NSS valiant can work, ASHA workers uh, in PSC primary healthcare centers. So pro first orientation to these ladies, because uh, it is very important. And Garbha Sanskar can, our ANC, PNC care through Ayurveda. It is definitely uh, evidence-based good practices giving very good kind of maternity and also the baby wellness. So the, this is the somewhat the tool we can apply. And uh, what were now, it is a uh, very easy due to the uh, positive minister of Ayush government platform, honorable. So I'm very thankful. And also the dignitaries like you, all the which are working already, it's a uh, really very uh, positive things or prospectus to the H and every Ayurvedic research worker, inspiration to also, to how to work on it. How is the situation in Maharashtra? I mean, will Maham log follow karte hai ya how is the general public feeling about Ayurveda? Uh, no, sir. Uh, actually, uh, please pardon, please, I can't understand because why is uh, Birking here? No, no. In Maharashtra, how is log follow karte hai ya system? Uh, Ayurveda. Yeah, Maharashtra, me abhi. Complete Ayurvedic follow नहीं कर रहे ये तो बस hundred percent true है लेकिन फिर भी awareness campaign in the form of uh, UG level PhD, uh, PG level or MD students we are guiding them uh, means uh, also NSS uh, through NSS uh, in uh, winter campaign uh, 
जो कैंप रहता है सेवन डेज का तो उसमें सब गांव में जाके बच्चे लोगों को पहले बताते हैं कि आयुर्वेद क्या है आयुर्वेद के बारे में थोड़ा से हम वहाँ पे उनको प्रिंसिपल्स के कुछ वीडियो दिखाते हैं पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन रहते हैं तो लोगों को कैसे है कि बातें समझने से विजुअल इफेक्ट इज इम्पोर्टेंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द चाइल्ड टेस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द चाइल्ड मूड अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉडर्न यूथ पीपल मॉडर्न यंगस्टर्स जनरेशन दे आर वॉट इज क्लाइमेटिक एनवायरमेंटल फेवरेबल कंडीशन we have to modify the but don't change the principles principle is same but only to modify the effect so that is will definitely work very nice thank you so much sir thank you so much it's my pleasure sir what sir i am very thankful to all of you because giving this uh, opportunity to thought to present my thought process thank you girish sir and all the specifically technical support uh, uh, Veg- Veg- vignesh sir and all of you organizing committee and also the all the uh, participants which have joined this webinar and I heartily congratulate because webinar is also the one of the awareness program Correct. so we can't uh, means neglect it and it is a uh, means a what were minus in minus uh, points that is important yes sir yes sir so thank you so much thank uh, so i would like to also ask uh, dr tvn warrior uh, our uh, uh, medical uh, superintendent to put in a few words on today's session hello very nice presentation mahajan thank you sir and uh, just what is happening about past two years we are hearing only two words that is one corona the other one is immunity <laughs> eh? so what uh, i have observed is we have uh, we have been taught that is sahajam karajam yuktigritam yes sir very nice question uh, but, uh, but it has been uh, destroyed by our own people that is we uh, destroyed all these things for the past many years now we cannot think of uh, but what uh, in ashtangade but what vagbara is uh, told uh, nityam hi aahara vihara sevi samikshe gari yes. vishaye shwasaktah dada avara satyavara kshamavan aap yes. sova sevi cha bhavadi arogah a very simple method we can adopt i hope uh, uh, you are they can they just uh, spread the spread, spread our message uh, because uh, you are youngsters and you have got some college and everything all the other facilities you can spread our uh, ancestors that is ajaryas messages yes sir so the villages and spread our uh, health programs okay thank you yes thank you sir so national just like national health program ayurveda health program also need um, nowadays uh thank you sir very much uh, uh, uh dr uh, kamlesh mahajan sir so we have a group here uh, which is like an ngo it's called as uh, abhyasam this group is working together with ashtanga me being the member from ashtanga uh, as part of the group we are actually working towards the education of the healthy lifestyle practices for children and all that along with the traditional uh, uh, knowledge uh, uh, which is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the traditional knowledge is going down everywhere Uh, along with healthy lifestyle practices so we are actually uh, putting our uh, uh, you know uh, energy into pa- giving this to the new y- uh, younger generation uh, so that this is uh, followed properly so i think that can this can also work on the uh, 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 healthy ayurvedic lifestyle practices to all children yes yes very nice sir yes sir so i think we come to the end of this session anybody would have to uh, have any questions to ask uh, dr kamlesh sir one more time you can ask any questions there are a few comments nice session and well done sir thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you so there are some comments like this sir thank you so i think there are no more questions i would like to uh, uh, is there any more question anybody
uh, I would also ask our executive director, Mr. T.R. Shashivariya, to put in a few words on today's session. Thank you, Dr. Girish. It has been a pleasure listening to you, Dr. Kamlesh. Thank you, sir. So, so, so many practices that have been forgotten or so many practices that we have been avoiding or not practicing properly has been highlighted, have been highlighted by you. And uh, these, these practic the, the practicality of these solutions can also be brought in with the due diligence and due thinking and due consultation with practitioners. Uh, I think it has been a fantastic session. We have had few, quite a few insights into what we can do to stay healthy rather than get illness and then go, go for a cure. So it has been a fantastic session. I congratulate you on this. Thank you very much for being here with us this evening and sharing your views. It has Thank been you, a sir. pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, all the viewers. Thank you. Thank you, all the listeners. I would like to thank uh, uh, Dr. Kamalesh Mahajan for taking his time for uh, giving us a great session today. I would like to also thank uh, everybody present here for giving us time and listening to our session pa uh, patiently and uh, asking your questions uh, uh, and uh, 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 getting answers from doctor. I would also like to thank uh, Mr. Vignesh for giving us the IT support without whom I would not have been able to conduct any of these sessions. Every time he's been there with us to uh, uh, you know, promote this program. Thank you so much, Vignesh. Uh, Thank you, sir. So without much further ado, I think we can come to the end of this program. Thank you, sir. Thank you all.